I was not expecting to uh, do this review so fast because I just ordered this a couple days ago, like over the weekend. I think I read about it, I don't know, Saturday or Sunday, and then I put an order in because I'm impulsive like that, and then it came. It's like, wow, okay, what is it? Uh, then this is the unboxing. I cut it open because I thought it was something else, and I was surprised, like, IQ. IQ shipping label, so it comes with that. Now, it's no huge surprise because the city they make it in is actually very close to me. It's like within 20 miles. Um, but I, apparently maybe they ship it out of there. I don't know, I didn't ask. It came, I'm very ex I'm really excited about this because uh, I used to have great vision plan and I would go there and they would do like practically a free checkup and then I'd buy their glasses, I'd pay a couple hundred dollars for the glasses, I'd like $300 or something like that for a pair of glasses. Then I figured out I could just order them online so I started doing that, I just needed the prescription. Then I lost the insurance and so I went to another place that was like half the cost, like $70 for checkup. But they, I don't know, they kept giving me glasses that weren't, or the prescription I would order online again. They just weren't perfect. There was some, always something a little off. It was like, it worked better in the studio. How did you mess it up? Like, what happened, guys? So, it's called IQ. Now, I'll probably use glasses to actually read this better. This is why I get these things. Personal vision tracking. Or op, op, the, ophthalmic, boy, that is a word, ophthalmic refractometer. They're just using fancy words. Um, and so it's a nice box, let's see. I mean, yeah, I saved myself the trouble of actually having to go do some post. I'll still do a little post, okay. So what does it come with? Um, instructions, words, words, words. Cool, the actual unit, a little baggy. I think this is for the distance between the eyes. There's a word for that. Oh, it has a nice little pouch. So this is the, the key thing. And you're gonna use the iPhone too. I'm gonna use the iPhone. Let's go ahead and open this carefully. Don't want to get stitches. Looks nice, packaging's okay. I've seen better, but it's not bad. I've seen, I, I should say this, I've seen a lot worse. Here we go. So we've got this little piece here and it rotates. Another piece here. I'm probably not gonna get much further until I read the directions, so we'll have to pause on that and set it up. But I think the idea is, the idea, <laughs> I get it. You look through and you see stuff or do stuff. I don't know, I don't know how it works. I'm gonna find out. I'll find out and then we'll do part two after um, hopefully it's amazed me and I'm just in a whole new state of like of euphoria. All right. So, time for part one to end, and then there'll be an intermission, and then part two. It's time for part two. Part two of the IQ. Doing some rhyming here. The IQ test. So, part two is where you, well, I don't know if I'd call it part two. Part one was the unboxing for me, but now the actual usage. So, you got the little piece of plastic here, and it rotates, clicks, goes on your phone. Do I have a phone? I do have a phone. Goes on the phone, um, and then you run the app, you look through it, you do the dial, and you have to take your test. You have, uh, let's see, I think there was 27 times nine. You have a lot of tests to take, and then to run the thing uh, three times, I think, or no, two. I don't know, I, I haven't done the math. You have to do it a lot. Again, I love it in the theory, but does it work? I don't know, I mean, you'll have to line up the two, the green and the, uh, red and when they overlap due to the additive color of light rule you have yellow well that's kind of cool except if you are partially colorblind like i am you don't really get the yellow you get um not quite yeah i'm not a fully colorblind so i get if i look if i try really hard sometimes i get the yellow otherwise i just get the green um, so that is a little a bit of a limitation. Um, other than that, it's just it's really difficult to kind of see those things. It's hard to tell if they're over the kind of the two things come together. And again, if it works perfectly and the prescription's right, then well, you know, great. You know, keep using it. What what I don't like is the fact that you have to have that monthly membership or that yearly membership. You get the first year free, but I don't even want to pay anything after that. I already bought the thing, so the membership seems kind of silly. It's an app. You already got the app. Um, that's kind of just a ridiculous way for the company to kind of keep making money, but I understand as well, if you have a product that works, it's like, why would you ever buy it again? Well, one thing is the sticky part on the back can get kind of loose after a while. But anyway, took the tests and I finally got my prescription. 
looked way different than my regular prescription, so that from the get-go kind of seemed like, I'm not sure this is going to work. But, I, you know, it was like I went through Zinni Lens and ordered it. It wasn't very much already come this far, I had to find out. So ordered it and then wait, and wait for the mail to come. All right, two weeks later, the mail has arrived and we've got the package. Uh, and again, I, I order from Zenny a lot just because uh, I, I, the prices are good. You know, I'll never probably order from the regular eyeglass people again. And the range is good because you can get the cheap stuff or you can get the nice stuff. So I have another, the, the plastic case that they always send. Got the glasses inside. Very excited, very excited. So this is a live unboxing. I have not tried this yet. Uh, Got the, oh, a decent, oh, actually a pretty different lens. Uh, yeah, the frame's a little different. Yeah, interesting. I, I, I never know what I'm getting, but, uh, all right, let's see how they go. Well, um, wow. It just, I, I'm actually just kind of surprised. The, uh, these, this is really good. The, this uh, prescription is, really good. I uh, said better than my normal prescription, which I haven't gotten in like a few months anyway. Let me just see. Do I, uh... Okay, I have these little cards. Uh, Sherlock Holmes clue set, which I could never read without glasses. Oh, oh wait, these are my current glasses. Anyway. All right, in summary, uh, there are, it, it's impressive. My prescription, I think my uh, current or old one was, uh, it's so close that since I'm not confident I can tell the difference, it's hard to really, I don't even wanna say. I kinda feel like my old prescription was just a little sharper, but, and again, it could also be the range at one point, one is more advantageous than the other. So I gotta say that, uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed that it could, it got, it, you could use this $15 device to get a pretty good um, prescription. I don't know if it's perfect. Uh, I don't know if it's bad. Definitely, again, you go to the eye doctor for other reasons too. You get uh, to see you know, if there's any disease or any other problems, uh, glaucoma. There's a lot of reasons to go to an eye doctor, so you should still be doing that. But if you want to like kind of get a different prescription other times in the year, or if you don't have insurance and you just really can't afford it and you know, you can barely pay the rent, this at least can let you see, so you can see the rent. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta say, um, I'm surprised. I actually did not think that this prescri prescri prescription, prescription, ah oh, man, these tough words, was gonna be any good, but uh, yeah, all right, not bad, not bad at all. I will actually keep this. I have some other methods now of um, checking prescriptions, which I will be reviewing soon, but um, the fact that, I don't know, the fact that I got this out of it, uh, and saved a lot of money. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of talking in circles now, but you know, I'm, I'm happy with it. I think uh, for the money, good investment, and um, I will try it again in probably like six months. Uh, I don't know how to get the far distance though. This was for like reading uh, up close. I don't know how to do the, uh, the measurement for distance. I'll have to look that online and see if that's possible because it'd be cool to get distance glasses too. But anyway, there, that's it. IQ, I, I'd say, yeah, thumbs up. <laughs>